In this video, I will be going over the law of the change of base of logarithms. The law of the change of base of logarithms states that any log base b of a can be equal to any log base c of a divided by a log base c of b, where the c can be any number that we want it to be. Let's just take as an example log base 5 of 7. So if we want to change our base to any number for any given reason, we can just simply apply this law and obtain whatever base we want. So let's say if we want this to be in base 7, then we can write this as log base 7 of 7 divided by log base 7 of 5. And we can do this with any base. So let's say that we want to get this in terms of log base 5. We can write this as log base 5 of 7 divided by log base 5 of 5. And both of these cases, obviously, log base 7 of 7 is equal to 1, and this is equal to 1 if we wanted to further simplify it. But right now I'm just trying to explain what the change of base of logarithms does. Another neat thing that we can do with this is we can take both sides in terms of Lg. So we can take Lg of 7 divided by Lg of 5. And in this case, we're essentially changing the log to base 10, and we know that log base 10 is equal to Lg, so we're just writing it as such. Now, you must be wondering, where would I want to apply this? Well, there are actually quite a few places where the change of base of logarithms, or where the law of the change of base of logarithms can be applied. For example, as I showed over here, sometimes we want to get our log in terms of Lg or Ln. And that's because in the O-level exam, when we're using our calculator, we're only allowed to use the functions of Lg and Ln we're not allowed to use the functions of log base something of something where we plug in both of these numbers. So we're not allowed to plug that into calcula our calculators. So therefore, if we have a log that we want to evaluate, we can simply put it in terms of Lg and Ln. So in this case, if we want to evaluate log base 5 of 7, we can simply rewrite this as Lg of 7 over Lg of 5 and then we can plug both of these numbers into our calculator and we'll get whatever number we get. So one thing I want to note is in remembering this law the only way you can get really get messed up is if you mix up which or which term goes where and one way I like to think of it is in terms of natural selection so the a or the larger number stays on top because it is superior and the b or the smaller more minuscule number is inferior so it goes on the bottom. Anyway, sometimes when we're solving equations regarding logarithms we want to get both sides to have the same base so that we can equate them. Let's say that we have log base 2 of x is equal to log base 8 of x plus 6 and we need to solve for x. Now we see here that both of these sides don't have the same base therefore we can't immediately do anything to solve for the value of x. So what we need to do now is we need to get both of these sides to have the same base and how do we do that? We apply the law of the change of base of logarithms. So we can apply it on the right side and get it to have the same base as the left side. So if we change the base to 2, we get log base 2 of x plus 6 divided by log base 2 of 8. And on the other side, we still have log base 2 of x. And as you can see, we have the same thing on either side. If you remember what a logarithm is, you can easily equate the bottom half. So how this is basically saying 2 to the power of what is equal to 8. We know that 2 cubed is equal to 8. Therefore, this is equal to 3. 
So we get log base 2 of x is equal to log base 2 of x plus 6 over 3. And we can solve this further. So just bring over the 3. 3 times log base 2 of x is equal to log base 2 of x plus 6. Then from this we use the power law to bring this up here. So we get log base 2 of x cubed is equal to log base 2 of x plus 6. And since we're taking log base 2, since we have log base 2 on the other side, we can simply compare these two expressions. So we get x to the power of 3 is equal to x plus 6. And if we evaluate this, we get x cubed minus x plus 6 is equal to 0. And since this video isn't about polynomials, I'll just straight up tell you that x is equal to 1. And we see that that works because 1, or no, not 1, I'm sorry, 2. Because we see that 2 cubed is equal to 8, and 2 plus 6 is also equal to 8.